Hello, Hope Grace kiddos. Today's Bible story is called Jesus' Early Miracles. It's found in the Bible in the book of Mark, chapter 1. After sin entered the world, God could have said, Too bad, you had your chance, people. It would have been fair for him to say that. Instead, God had a plan to defeat sin and death forever. It required a savior, and after hundreds and hundreds of years, that savior was born in Bethlehem. Jesus, the fully God and fully human savior, grew into a man. He was wise and perfectly obeyed God. He was baptized and then resisted temptation to sin in the wilderness. John pointed to him and he called disciples to follow him. Now, Jesus' ministry of teaching and healing was coming into full swing. Today, we will learn about Jesus' early miracles. A miracle is an act by God. It is an extremely outstanding, extraordinary event or thing where God's presence is shown. The miracle can affect one person or a whole bunch of people. Miracles show us God's authority, like when Moses parted the Red Sea so that the people of Israel could escape from Egypt. We can see healing. A man crippled since birth gets up and walks after Jesus heals him, or Jesus makes a man who was born blind to see. We see judgment for evil. People became so evil that God destroys them in a flood, and Noah and his family are saved. We see when God provides. God gives manna to the Israelites as they traveled through the desert. And Jesus feeds thousands of people who, with only five loaves of bread and two fish. We see raising the dead. By the power of God, Elijah raises a widow's dead son back to life. And Jesus raises his friend Lazarus to life. And we see where God provided safety. When King Nebuchadnezzar tries to burn Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to death in a fiery furnace, but God keeps them from burning. Let's learn more about Jesus' early miracles. Jesus traveled to Capernaum with his disciples, Simon, Andrew, James and John. He went into the synagogue, which is kind of like our church, on the Sabbath, which is kind of like our Sunday, and began to teach. The people there were very surprised. Jesus' teaching was not like the scribes' teaching. He spoke with authority. Just then, a man with an unclean spirit shouted, What do you have to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are the Holy One of God. Jesus commanded the spirit to be quiet and come out of the man. The spirit yelled again and then came out. Everyone was amazed. Who is this Jesus, they asked. He teaches with authority and the unclean spirits obey him. News about Jesus spread quickly throughout all of Galilee. Next, Jesus and his disciples went to Simon and Andrew's house. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever. Jesus went to her, took her hand, and healed her. She got up and began to serve them. That evening, large crowds of people came to the house with others who were sick or bothered by evil spirits, and Jesus healed them. Early the next morning, Jesus went out by himself to pray. Simon and the other disciples found him and said, everyone is looking for you. Jesus said, let's go on to the nearby villages so I can preach there too. This is why I have come. Jesus traveled throughout Galilee. He preached and drove out demons. A man with a skin disease came to Jesus. He got on his knees and begged, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Jesus was willing and he healed the man. Jesus' miracles proved that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. They strengthened people's faith and met their needs. Through Jesus, God did what is impossible for us to do on our own. He provided forgiveness, 
salvation, and eternal life. During his earthly ministry, Jesus performed miracles by touching, healing, and transforming many lives. Here's a song about just a few of these miracles. but spiritual. Jesus heals us from the damage caused by sin. That brings us to our big picture question. What makes people special? People are special because we are made in his image as male and female to know him. Jesus cares about people because he created us. He wants what is best for us and that is to love and obey God. Our key passage might be one of the most well-known verses in the entire Bible. Many people have heard it and memorized it. And in a way, this key passage sums up the whole Bible. Let's read it together. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3, 16. God loved us and showed his love by sending Jesus. And everyone who has faith in Jesus won't be punished for sin, but will live forever with God. Let's pray. Father, thank you for sending Jesus. We can hardly understand your amazing love. Help us love you back. Give us the courage we need to obey you in difficult circumstances and fill our hearts with compassion for others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
is that Jesus loves me. Na 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 na. Jesus loves me. God the Father, up in heaven, holy is His name. Jesus.